Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this first item I'm gonna pull, oh my goodness, I got it at the Goodwill Benz. I picked it up, I looked at it, and I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna send this to my husband and see what see what this is. You guys, it's sold. Wait until you see it. I had no clue, but just, you never know what's gonna be lurking in those Goodwill Benz. Also, in this video, besides pulling orders and showing you guys what I sold, we are gonna talk about something pretty special that's happening. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Like I mentioned, I'm like, what is this thing? I don't know, but I think I can sell it. So, guess what? I did, I sold it. So let's go find it. Oh my goodness, my totes are so out of order. It is in tote 43. We are looking for a, I believe it's vintage welding clamp. And this thing, I saw it in the bins. And like I said earlier, I sent a picture to my husband and I'm like, what is this? Because he kind of knows stuff like that. And he's like, I think that's a welding clamp. And so I bought it and I sold it. And now I can't find it. <laughs> um, I sold it for $18.60, I do believe. Um, it might be in here. Where are you, welding clamp? Or it might be in here. This. Oh, there it is. It's right here. It's right here. Let me get it out of the bag for you. All right, this is it. This is what I saw, and I'm like, what is this? And I'm like, it looks old. Should I grab it? So I grabbed it. Oh, it's super hard to squeeze, but it's a welding clamp. It's just somebody wanted it. I can't believe somebody wanted this, but they did. So it just goes to show that even if you don't know what you're doing, you can still pick up really different weird things and somebody's probably going to want it. That's the great thing about eBay. So I challenge you to pick up something the next time you go to the Goodwill bins or the thrift store that you know nothing about and see if you can sell it. Thank you so much, Bella Buddies, for the opportunity to share about this great cause and to use your platform to plug and spread awareness about this auction. So basically on Friday, March 3rd at 8 p.m. Central, the entire reselling community is getting together for um, an art auction for autism. That's what we may as well call it. A friend of mine and fellow reseller YouTuber Chrissy Collins on the Move was raising money for the Autism Society of Greater Orlando. And this has basically erupted into the entire community painting pieces, uh, drawing pieces, uh, we've got woodwork, basically any type of art someone wanted to create is being sent in and I'm going to auction it off. 100% of the proceeds is going straight to the Autism Society of Greater Orlando. And it's an opportunity not only for you to share your art if you'd like to mail in a piece, just let me know, um, but also to possibly get a piece of art to purchase a piece of art from one of your absolute favorite reseller friends. And again, know that you're supporting a, a really worthwhile cause. So if you want to be a part of it, check out my whatnot. Um, click on Courtney's link for the whatnot and then you'll get $15 free to spend at my auction. So it's totally a win-win. I cannot wait to see you guys there. Friday, March 3rd. Okay, Bola Buddies. So you just saw the video from Rachel. She also has a YouTube channel. Please go check her out here. And if anybody wants to participate in this event by uh, sending in a craft or an art project that they made that they would like to auction off, please reach out to her on Instagram and she will give you her PO box. Let's get people donating their art so that this event can be epic, okay? So do you guys wanna see what I drew? <laughs> <laughs> so Rachel reached out to me and she's like, hey, do you want to be a part of this? And I'm like, you want me to draw something? I'm like, eee, okay. Um, so I decided to do it. And I kind of traced, I'm not going to lie. Um, so I had the original graphic before it was colored in. Um, the gal that made this for me sent it to me just traced out. So I printed that off larger and then I put it behind this canvas. So the actual that part is traced. <laughs> and then I did paint it all by myself. All by myself, I painted it just like a third grader. <laughs> so this is my Bolo Buddies owl. And this is Olo. But if you look at the owl, if you flip this upside down, I don't know if you guys know, but there is my Bolo Buddies logo. 
So it's kind of like a hidden picture, right? And this is going to be what she is going to auction off for me. So if anybody is interested in this, definitely go over and check it out. But I am sure there is going to be so many amazing items over there. So this is happening on March 3rd on Whatnot. And it's on Rachel's Whatnot. Here it is. And um, go down below if you are not on Whatnot. And you can join with my link. And you're going to get $15 to shop. That is my referral link. So if you join with it, $15 free money. So you can put that towards whatever you're buying. If you're already on Whatnot, that link's not gonna work, but it will take you over to my Whatnot where you can follow me. And also follow Rachel Strickland and make sure you bookmark the show. It should be up already. So you can just click the little bookmark and then you'll get an alert when she goes live. This is gonna be a really fun event. She is um, inviting anyone to donate art for the cause. So if you are an artist or if you're not an artist like me, just give it your best effort, okay? Send her something. Instagram's the best way to reach her for her P.O. Box. And I look forward to seeing what you guys send her so um, that we have more options to buy from. All right, you guys, let's get started and see what else I sold this weekend. Okay, and I also wanted to mention that the buyer paid shipping on this. Um, I do not offer free shipping, not on eBay. I do offer free shipping on Mercari, um, but not eBay. So the next item I sold is a piece of jewelry. So I'm going to show it to you. All right. This one is labeled blue tote. So I know that this piece of jewelry is in here and now I just have to find it. It is the cutest little piece. It's not very big. Um, it's marked sterling. And I kind of love it. It's really a really cool piece. I want to say I got it at a garage sale for like 50 cents. Um, I can't remember if I like was if it was with a bunch of jewelry or I don't remember all the details, but I have marked in my notes that it was 50 cents. So I'm guessing it was probably a part of maybe a bundle or something. But uh, let me see if I can find it here and then I will show you guys. You guys, I'm still looking for it, but I wanted to show you this beautiful piece. Um, I think it's artisan made. It is just amazing, and it has earrings with it, and it is signed on the back. It is just stunning. I can't believe it hasn't sold yet. So it's a brooch and matching earrings. It's incredible. Um, so I still have tons and tons of jewelry listed in my uh, eBay store. Here's a, a zebra, just lots of cool stuff. Sometimes I only put the jewelry on Poshmark. It just kind of varies, so definitely check out my Posh Closet also. All my links are down below. And here is the unicorn right here. So it is marked sterling. It's just a cute little um, sterling silver unicorn. All right, there it is up close and personal. Um, I got this, uh, or I'm sorry, I sold this for $27.90. And you can see the marking right there on the back. And the buyer paid shipping. Um, it did take a little while to sell. I would consider this more of a long tail item, but um, really cute piece. All right, so this next item, we're going over to the letter room. Let me drop this stuff off over here at my shipping table. And we are going to tote M. And uh, this item sold really fast. Lights on, here it comes. Um, I picked it up at the Goodwill Bins. It is a plush and it's just a bread and butter, but I saw it, it was cute. I had to use Google Lens to figure it out. But it sold for $9.30 plus shipping. So I was really happy with that because it sold super quick. Plush. For those of you that are selling plush, looking to sell plush, you guys see my plush sales. I have a lot of plush listed. Plush is long tail. It takes a long time to sell in most cases. Some of it will fly out of your store because people are looking for it and it just happens to be a special item. But most plush is long tail. Oh boy, it's somewhere in here. All right, so... Um, I have been listing like a machine. My sales were starting to tank because I was not listing. Um, I, I put out a video a day on YouTube and it takes a lot of time. Um, I was also spending a lot of time on whatnot and, um, I, I have to be careful and I talk to you guys about balancing your time. It's really, really important, um, especially if you're on multiple platforms and you're doing YouTube and all of that stuff. I think one thing that people don't realize is when you start a YouTube channel, all the time that you spend on YouTube is time that you are not listing. Okay, so that the same thing goes for whatnot or 
whatever you decide to add to um, your daily reselling um, cross posting. I mean, cross posting is so important and I haven't been cross posting as much as I should. So this month, my focus is, here it is. This is what I sold. My focus is to get as much as I can on eBay because everybody is like, why aren't you doing Goodwill Bins videos? I'm like, because I haven't been listing. And you guys know my Goodwill Bins videos. I pop up screenshots of how I listed everything because I want to keep those videos educational for you guys. So that being said, I need to get out some Goodwill Bins videos because... Uh, some of you like my Goodwill Bins videos and some of you prefer my What Solds. My What Sold videos, it's really hard to get a video to get a lot of views that is a What Sold. On the other hand, the Goodwill Bins videos, they perform much better for me. But I am a, like I have built my channel on What Solds. So no matter what I do, I try to keep it educational, which means I have to list everything when I go to the Goodwill bins before I can put out the video. And because I haven't been listing on eBay, I can't put out a video. <laughs> so again, this month I am listing, listing, listing like a machine on eBay. I'm gonna get you guys some Goodwill bins videos coming soon. Um, and I'm trying to get more items cross posted over to Poshmark and Mercari. I use List Perfectly to do that. You guys, it makes it so quick and easy. If you don't know about List Perfectly, I do have a demo video down below. You can check that out. If you watch it and decide it's something that you are interested in trying, you can get 30% off your first month with referral code BOLA Buddies. That is all one word. Um, highly recommend it. I've been using it since 2019. If you've been on my channel for a while, you've heard all about List Perfectly. If you're new here, check out that video down below. And if you've been here a while and you haven't checked out that video, I encourage you to definitely do so. Let's look at the next item. Dun, dun, dun. It's the dreaded bra tote. Uh, somebody brought, bought three bras off of me. One, two, and three. And I'm going to go dig them out of this tote. I am going to show you what the tote looks like. These are always a pain to find, I will tell you, and you'll see why in a minute. All right. <laughs> Do you see the problem? All right. So we are looking for two black bras. Okay. They, um, are hidden in here. So basically what I have to do is I have to dig through. I kind of have an idea of which bra it is, what it looks like, but I'm going to tell you that I'm not going to torture you while I look. Um, I'm going to pull the bras out. This might be one of them right here. And then, nope, wrong size. So uh, yeah, it, it takes some time pulling orders uh, for bras because they are hidden in this massive brawl mess. So I'm gonna dig and then I'll be back with the next item. All right, it took me forever to find that bra. So here's my other tote of bras. <laughs> oh my goodness, if you need a bra, you know where to find me. Links down below. Okay, um, anyway. This one should be a little bit easier to find. It is a print. Um, and I think I have, I had multi-quantity. Is this it? This might be it. Yep, this is it. It is a C&C California sports bra. Um, it's my last one. Sold out. Sold out. So a lot of times back when I did clothing, I did retail arbitrage clothing. And I would buy tons and tons of multi-quantity items. If I found stuff on sale, I would just buy them all. And um, these, this I've had a long time, this uh, CNC, but I probably, I don't know, maybe had five or six of them. So this is the last one. So they still sell, you know, it just sometimes takes time. And um, you know, you know how it is. You just, I'm patient, I'm patient. I list it and forget it. This next item. I listed it and it sold the same day. You want to see what it is? All right, it's somewhere in this tote. This is tote Q. And this right here is a Vanity Fair. I picked this up on Whatnot from Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. Definitely go follow her on YouTube and Whatnot. Um, so I went ahead and bought that from her and I have that listed in my eBay store currently. And where is this little guy? Where did I put it? All right. I'm going to flip off and find it. I'll be right back. All right. So I knew I had two bags of items that were um, just bags of miscellaneous stuff that I listed. And this is what I sold. It's a zing it. Now, are you guys familiar with Bop It? 
talked about boppets before and they sell decent some of them better than others i'm putting stuff back in the tote that's part of the process but this i had never seen and i got this at the goodwill bins and it's kind of like a yo-yo but you push this and then it tells you like you you do like three different things i don't know i i tried to look it up because i'm it didn't make any sense to me but apparently this is a bolo it's from the 90s and if you ever see one of these, pick it up. I think I underpriced it because it sold within, I want to say it was the same day. I don't know if it was within a couple hours or what, but I was like, oh my goodness, it already sold. And I sold this for $22 plus shipping. So maybe could have got a little more for this. I did search comps, but people underprice things all the time. And I kind of went by eBay comps. Maybe I should have checked WorthPoint. If you're not using WorthPoint, I highly recommend it. I maybe didn't do my homework. Um... But either way, I got this at the Goodwill bins, so I probably got a buck in it, maybe less, and I sold it for 22 plus shipping. So be on the lookout. All right, I just want to say that I love it that these items are flying out of my store. So funny. Um, okay, so little backstory. I was at uh, Donna Bottolino's uh, YouTube channel. She was having a selling event, and she started showing these crazy dolls. And what do I mean by crazy dolls? Go watch this video right here, and you will be like, What? So um, I bid on it because nobody was bidding. And I'm like, I can definitely make money on that. And then I stopped bidding. And then Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger, and another person and some other people were bidding. But it got into a bidding war between two people. Well, Noelle won. And I'm not even going to tell you what she paid for it because you got to go watch this video right here. And Donna had said, I thought it was going to go for like $15 or $20. <laughs> and she's like, what is happening? So anyway... I got my box. It took me a while to get to it because it was a lot of parting out. But you guys, the items are selling and I just sold another item. So go check out this video to see what else I sold and to see how I listed everything because a lot of you would not have looked twice at this box. You would have been like, absolutely not. And in the video, I tell you how much I expect to make and I think your jaws are going to drop. All right, it's in one of these bags. Let's find it. Um, go follow Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger. And if you're looking for inventory, check out Donatella Bottolino on um, YouTube. And also Donatella is under Donatella, just her first name on whatnot. I don't know if she's going to change that or not. I think she should. But um, right now she's just Donatella. So this is what sold. It is a Bratz doll with no legs. I mean, she has her legs. No feet. She has no feet. See? No feet. And she still sold. And let me tell you what she sold for. She sold for $12.40 and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, this item also sold really quickly. Um, it was also from the Goodwill Bins and it's a, I think $1.89 a pound. I haven't been up there lately. Um, been trying to get some stuff listed, like I said, trying to uh, not shop right now and just focus on getting what I have listed. Um, does anybody else feel like sometimes you just have to take a little break and not shop and actually just put in the work? So this item sold really fast. Once I finally got it listed, let me show you what it is. I just dropped my phone. So I am gonna pick it up. Sorry for the light. Um, okay. Um, I'm like threw my phone down. I'm like, I gotta find this. I can't dig with them watching. I'm never gonna find it. This, this tote is jam packed. Moved all this over and I found them. And you guys know that I like to sell replacement parts. I was able to figure out that these go for some like stand and sit, uh, train and it's incomplete. I do not have all the letters, but I figured somebody is going to need these as replacements. And again, sold super fast for $8 plus shipping. All right, this next one. Could I have made more parting it out? It is very, very likely that I could have. Um, but I decided to list it as a lot. And I would say possibly a reseller's buying it or maybe just somebody that needed some new. Let me show you what it is. Hair thingies. We're going to call them hair thingies because it's a whole bunch of hair thingies and um it's just a big bundle so yeah i could have parted it out but i decided to sell it all together i sold this for 40 dollars plus shipping i absolutely 100 percent just lied to you guys these are all separate listings so all of this came from the goodwill bins i did part this part out and this is the set that i sold for 40 dollars plus shipping these items are a little bit uh different like these are all the same um, I put these two together, this little spider thing. So some of the more, look how beautiful this is. It's some sort of like hair you put in your hair. I don't, 
I'm pretty sure it's vintage. It's incredible. I've never seen anything like it. So I listed that separately, but this was all bundled at the bins. And then these items, I took the lazy road, which I probably shouldn't have, but there were some really great pieces in here and I'll pop up a screenshot for you guys. And I sold this for $40 plus shipping. And it's a good thing that I caught that. Otherwise I may have just shipped all this with it by accident. This big money bolo, I sold it for 70 bucks. If it would have been in minty condition, I probably could have got way more, um, way more. Uh, where, where's, where's the tote? Where's, oh, here it is. It switched sides. My totes tend to do that. Let me flip the camera here. So I have sold these before. You guys have seen them. And let me see if I can find it real quick here. And I'll show you what we got going on. Where are you? I'll be back. All right, I found them. They're these belt buckles. I have this one left. It's Steve Miller band. And I have this one left, which is wings. Uh, the other ones have sold. Uh, these are marked on the back. Uh, definitely be on the lookout for these. They're Pacifica and these are from the 70s and these are definitely a bolo. This one is Kiss Band. If you don't know, Kiss Band items are a major bolo. I sold this one for 70 because it has a big chunk out of it. Otherwise, I could have probably gotten, I can't remember what comps were, but maybe close to $200 for it if it would have been in better condition. But super happy with $70. I bought, a, I want to say seven of them at a garage sale. It was $10 and it came to $1.75 each. So whatever the math is on that. So I paid $1.75 for this and I flipped it into 70 bucks. Okay, so this next item has been listed for a long time. And I'm not sure if I just had bad keywords or if nobody likes parrot earrings, but I think they're adorable. And are, is that a parrot or did I label it wrong? I don't even know, but how cute are these little bird earrings? I sold these for $7.99 plus shipping. All right, I sold a pair of these Express Editor pants. I have, these are flare leg. People wear these to work and stuff like that. Um, I have a ton listed. This is one of my multi-quantity listings. Uh, a lot of them I have duplicates of, but there's also not a whole lot left. I have sold most of them, but I just sold these on Poshmark. They're a size two regular for $18 plus shipping. I picked these up at a discount store for around $3. Guys, so if you've been watching the channel a while, you know that I used to sell mostly clothing. So I still have a lot of clothing listed from a long time ago that I had multi-quantity, just like those pants I just showed you. I just sold a pair of size six crop mid-rise pants. Let me check the number here. It should be 148. So back when I did clothing and I had a bunch of pants and stuff that were the same or looked similar, I would number them like this. So I just bought like a little gun. Um, I, I can't think of what they're called. They're little, uh, they put tags on things and I would label it. And then I would put this either in my custom SKU or in my description to help me find the items so that I knew I had the right pair. Because if you sell clothing, you know that a size six in one style of black jeans and another style like this, that's very similar. These look very similar. Um, but they may have different measurements because they might just be a slightly different style, okay? So always make sure that you're labeling things so that you're getting person, each person the correct item. I ended up taking a best offer of $21. I can't remember if I sent an offer or took an offer, but I sold these for $21 plus shipping. And again, my cost of goods was around $3. And um, a lot of times when you buy items at discount stores, you can see how it's marked through. What I will typically do, same with the Victoria's Secret bras that I sold earlier that you guys saw, the tags are marked through. So what I do in the description is I put that the inner label is marked through to prevent store returns because these discount stores sell or buy their items from the liquidator and then they mark through the tags so that you can't take this item back to the store and return it for full price. So you do need to either show a picture of that or disclose it. I recommend both so that your buyer knows exactly what they're getting. All right, so this next item came out of a wholesale lot. If you guys aren't sourcing on wholesale, it's definitely a place that you can source inventory to resell. And if you have a bunch of inventory that you wanna sell in bulk, it's a great place to wholesale your items out. I've had so many people in my Facebook group that are like, I just wanna sell my whole eBay store or I just wanna sell my Poshmark closet. I just am done, I'm moving, I'm uh, starting a new job, whatever the reason may be. 
check out wholesale if you want to just unload it quick okay they can help you out with that i do have a referral link down below definitely check that out if you use that referral link you will get ten dollar credit okay so that is linked down below this item i purchased a plush lot um and what i did is uh the rebel reseller listed a plush lot i bought it to show you the buying side and she shows you the selling side over on her youtube channel so it was a collaboration video but uh, since then, I have bought another plush lot from Wholesale. So definitely uh, check out their uh, site for items that you can purchase for resale. Uh, this one is a Tweety Bird. Let's check it out. Here it is. I just dug it out of this tote. <laughs> Look at this little cutie. So my cost of goods was approximately $3 for this. I sold it on Poshmark for $15. Can you sell plush on Poshmark? Absolutely. I sell tons of hard goods on Poshmark to include to, to include to include toys and plush. So um, if you think Poshmark is only closed, you are definitely wrong. They have definitely expanded their platform. I have what sold videos for my Poshmark. Go check it out. I know some of you guys don't watch Poshmark and my Mercari videos because you only sell on eBay, but you guys. I have those items listed on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. They sold faster on Poshmark or Mercari if that's the video you're watching. They were still listed on eBay. So you can still learn from those videos even if you don't sell on those platforms. So I highly recommend that you watch them even if you don't sell on that platform because the whole idea is the same. And a lot of times I sell the items for more than I would have on eBay. I don't think I could have got $15 for this on eBay if I'm being completely honest. Um, so if you're not selling on Poshmark and Mercari, I do have links down below. If you want to check out those links, they are referral links. Poshmark, you'll get 10 bucks to shop and Mercari, you get $10 to shop when you join. And then you get another $20 to shop once you sell a hundred dollars worth of items. So check out those links down below. I shop on both platforms. So even if you don't want to sell on the platform, it might be a place that you can grab a good deal. So Tweety, $15. And I do use List Perfectly, as I talked about earlier, to cross post my items. It just makes it so much quicker than, you know, I get it. If you guys don't want to cross post manually, it takes too much time. Like I did before List Perfectly came out, I did 3,000 items to Poshmark from eBay manually. Like I had to uh, screenshot all of my photos. It was a complete nightmare. So I guess that's why I'm so appreciative of List Perfectly because, oh my goodness, it's so easy. And again, code, referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word will get you 30% off your first month. But before you are like, no way, I'm not doing it. I don't want to cross post. I don't want to go on another platform. I was the same way. It took my buddy Ron months and months and months to keep telling me how much he was making on those other platforms for me to finally do it. And I'm glad I did. So um, I was a skeptic too. But being on multiple platforms, more eyes on your items. All right, let's go on to the next item. All right, you guys, I'm going to be completely honest with you. This next lot um, is a crafter's lot. And I'm going to say I probably could have parted it out and made a lot more money. Uh, if I had to guess, I went into the person that bought it. I went in and looked at their store. And they sell a bunch of like scrapbooking and stickers and stuff like that. So I'm guessing that they're going to part out this lot, which is completely, completely fine. I already got this one packaged up. What I did is I made sure it was under five pounds and I only put this on Poshmark. And that way it ships for the lower uh, shipping costs because if this was on eBay, this would cost a lot more to ship than the $7.98 or 95 cents, whatever it is. So this is a Poshmark crafter's tote. And I will pop up a screenshot right now of what I sold it for. I believe it was $39 and the buyer paid shipping. This next is a bundle. This next lot is a bundle from uh, Poshmark. And I sold three items to the same person. What they did is they uh, created a bundle and they sent me an offer. And I think they are in this tote. So I'm going to look for the items and then I'm going to show them to you. Right, so like I said, I used to do a lot of clothes. So these items have been listed for a while. This is an NFL shirt. I don't know what team this is. I don't even think I have the team in the title because I'm just so clueless. And this is just an athletic wear Fila shirt. It retails for 45. And this is a Lane Bryant cami. They got these three items for $41 plus shipping. And this is on Poshmark. All right, this next item has been listed 
forever. I can't even tell you where I got it. Um, this is a tote that I keep like all of like my paper stuff and things that can get uh, damaged if they're not laying flat. And let me find the item. So all my stickers and cards, patches, stuff like that are in here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. I just want to show this to you guys. I picked this up at, and I can't believe it hasn't sold, but somebody who loves paper dolls, look at this. This is an old newspaper article and it is just incredible. I do have it listed really high, but I just feel like this is an awesome ephemera item and it's going to take the right buyer to come along and buy it. But, um, just a really cool piece. All right, let me find what I sold and I'll be right back. Found it, $7.44. Um, it's 1965 Kellogg Company. This sheet, um, let's see, remove this sheet before ironing. So it's a patch. It looks like a sticker, but it's actually a patch. And this did take a while to sell. I had two of them and the other one sold much more quickly, but uh, this one did take a little longer to sell. So I would consider this a long tail item. It's gonna take the right buyer, but these things you can pick up pretty cheap usually in lots at garage sales. I don't remember where I got this, so, but I probably had not very much in it. This item sold for $18.60. I picked it up at the Goodwill bins and I'm going to show you how I'm going to ship this because it's kind of a weird item and many of you might pass it by because it's kind of a weird item. I figured it was along the side here. So this is a Lego part and it's the wings of something. I can't remember how I figured it out, but I, I know I use Google Lens and I think there was some information on it that helped me identify it. But um, I'm going to pop up a screenshot so you guys can see exactly what it is. And let's go package this up so you can see how I'm going to ship it. I keep big boxes like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down into two slabs, sheets, whatever you want to call it, to put on each side of this. So I will show you the finished product in a minute. So if you guys are new here, um, I originally purchased bubble wrap locally and it is pretty much like doesn't have much air in the bubbles. Some of them do, some of them don't. So I use that bubble wrap. I'm trying to get rid of it on plastic items like this. I just put a whole bunch of layers on there to really make it cushy. Um, I did start using American Bubble Boy. I am super happy with the bubbles. They actually have air in them. And if you guys want to check out my referral link, it is down below. Um, I did a subscription, so it just auto delivers to me every month. They have free shipping and the bubbles are great. So um, that is down below. But again, on my plastic items, I still have like two or three humongous rolls of just not so great bubble wrap, but I need to use it. And on plastic things that don't break, that just need some cushion, it'll work for that. But man, the new stuff from American Bubble Boy is awesome. So what I'm going to do is I bubble wrap this. I am going to put it between two pieces of um, cardboard, and then I am going to tape this up, put it in a poly mailer. That's going to protect it from getting bent. It is just a plastic Lego thing, but it could snap if I didn't have this extra layer of protection. It is still going to be able to ship first class um, because it's still going to be very lightweight. I reinforced it with some tape so it's not going to be sliding around and then I am going to slip it into this eBay poly mailer and it is going to be ready to go. So let me know in the comments, do you think this is a good way to ship this or would you have shipped it differently? I would love to hear your feedback because I'm not a professional shipper. Um, I just do what I think is best and um, would love your feedback. Another thing I do, um, if I would have left this flapped open. I feel like it could have gotten ripped. So I went ahead and tightened it up and put a piece of tape here and across here. It just barely fit. So that way that's going to keep it from getting snagged during shipment. So it's ready to go. This is the first time I've ever noticed this. It says, please round up measurements to avoid additional charges. Enter 14 when it weighs 13.2 ounces. So I always round up on measurements and weight but I just thought everybody kind of knew that, but eBay is telling people to do that. Has that always been there and I've just never noticed it? Let me know down in the comments. All right, Bolo Buddies, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Again, go over and follow Rachel Strickland on Whatnot because she's going to be auctioning this off for the benefit that we talked about earlier in the video. I did this, this is my art. <laughs> and somebody's gonna win it. Is it gonna be you? Oh. <gasps>
And again, if you flip it upside down, you can see my logo are the owl's eyes. So this way you're kind of like, hmm. And then you're like, oh, I get it. The hidden picture. Um, this was made by um, Robin. And she also did my intro and my outro and um, my trailer. So if you guys need any work like that done, I do have Robin linked down in the description of the video. So definitely check her out. Um, she also does like banners and stuff like that. She did the Rebel Reseller, her banner, which is incredible if you have not seen that look at it. Um, mine was pretty basic. She really just added my photo. I already had my logo, but man, oh man, the Rebel Reseller, hers is so good. Um, check out Rebel, uh, the Rebel Reseller. She is incredible. Um, she has great bolos and Rachel Strickland's on YouTube. I talked about Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger, and I talked about Donatella Bottolino. All of those ladies are linked down in the description of the video. Please go and sub them up. And if you want to go to the auction to support the fundraiser for autism and maybe buy my owl or buy something from somebody um, that somebody else drew, I don't know who all is going to be in this. I'm super excited for the show March 3rd. And if you're not on Whatnot, my referral link is down below. You'll get 15 free dollars to shop if you use that referral code, not code, referral link to join Whatnot. So go down there right now, join Whatnot. And make sure you put all your payment information in so that you are ready to bid at this benefit auction. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.